Hello friends, today we are going to learn how to calculate tractive force for automobiles. Tractive force is nothing but the friction between a drive wheel and the surface it moves upon. It is the maximum amount of force a wheel can apply to a surface before it slips. A wheel will have different surfaces, as a coefficient of friction is based on pairs of surface. When a torque is applied to a wheel, it applies a force along the ground. However, anyone can imagine that if the wheel was spinning on ice, the wheel will would slip and would not move forward. The tractive force is equal to the frictional force between a wheel and the ground. Now, this man is walking as usual. His weight is acting towards down because of gravity. And the ground will create equal and opposite supportive force towards up. The traction between legs and surface will help to move forward. And, air resistance act opposite to the oncoming flow velocity. Let's see the inputs to find the tractive force. Engine maximum torque. Overall efficiency of powertrain. Transmission ratio of first gear. Rear axle ratio. And, tire rolling radius. Here we have to find out two values. One is, tractive force. Another one is, maximum permissible traction force. The formula for tractive force is, ET into overall efficiency into NG into NA, divided by R. Here, ET represents engine torque, NG is first gear transmission ratio, NA is rear axle ratio, R means tire rolling radius. The next formula is, Psi, into WR. Psi means, adhesion coefficient between tire and road surface. WR means, vehicle weight component on the driving wheel. We have to find out those two values and compare them to find out our design is safe or not. If TE is lower than TE max, then slip won't happen. Design is safe. If TE is greater than TE max, then vehicle will slip. Vehicle will not move. Let's select one vehicle, and find out its tractive force. This is Audi A6 sedan car, you can find the spec of this car from Google. Or, link is available in below description. Engine torque of this vehicle is, 369 Newton meter. The next required info is overall efficiency of powertrain. We know that Audi A6 is four wheel drive vehicle. So the efficiency is 0.90. Transmission ratio of first gear is, 3.19, rear axle ratio is, 4.41. Please check my previous video to learn how to calculate this value. Link is available in below description. Wheel type of Audi A6 is, P245 by 45 R19. For those type wheels, tire rolling radius is, 352 mm. Which means, 0.352 meter. Let's apply these inputs to the tractive effort formula. The final answer is 13,272.54 Newton, or, we can say 13.272 kilo Newton. This is tractive force for Audi A6. Now we have to check whether this design is safe or not. So let's find out maximum permissible traction force for Audi A6. Adhesion coefficient is 0.7 and WR is 18,975 Newton. Let's apply these values in this formula. And we got 13.2825 kN. This is maximum permissible traction force. Let's compare these two values with our safety condition. TE is lesser than TE maximum so, design is safe. Please send us your valuable suggestions, thank you for watching.